Yeah, so I've got a special box today, which has come from, um, well, originally Austria, and it's just been just been imported into the UK via one of my specialist dealers. And there it is. I'll get it out of the box. I must say, the packing on this is really good. Uh, and the person who's packed it, it really is, he's done a good job packing this, superb. That's why I like attention to detail. Amazing, just amazing packing. This is a real credit to whoever, whoever has packed, packed this to unbelievable standards. It's brilliant. This is just a shop that's done this, an eBay shop. So, credit to them. And there she is, the special edition 175 anniversary of the Austrian Railways livery railjet electric loco push pull system. Um, there's two versions of this, and this is uh, the top of the range one with um, digital couplings, uh, internal lighting on all coaches, um, control controllable lights in various different um, lighting arrangements just like the real thing on the the push cab system and the actual loco itself is a rail jet and that's a digital sound DCC so yeah I'm really chuffed with this I'll see what it gets out what it looks like in the uh, inner boxes yeah first of all I'll start with a loco so that's what it looks like on the outer carton sleeve that pulls off Yeah, so to set it up in digital push-pull mode, you've got to take the body off, which comes off pretty easy. You've got to take out the two jumpers. Uh, JP1 and JP2 have got to come out for the locomotive to talk to the control cab at the other end to control the lights through the digital couplings. Um, there is a digital chip, I think, of some sort on the control car. Well, the instructions are in German for it and I'm not 100% sure because I'm not great on German um, so yeah and it tells you on the instructions whereabouts to locate them uh, like you say one, once it's in push pull mode it'll talk to the control car control lights and the address on the locomotive and the address on the the control car have got to be identical, uh, which is pointed out by Chris in A and H models, where this model is available uh, in in their shop. And I got some advice off him. He's a he's a good lad. He knows a lot. He's very knowledgeable. Um, yeah, so that's just a tip. 
uh, not sure how to change the locomotive to a different address which I have tried because then if you do change it to a different address it won't work because it won't talk to the control car uh, so I'm not sure how you change the address on this I've tried it and with no success I just cannot get it to talk to each other on um, a different address so at the moment it's on address default number three the locomotive and the control car if that makes sense to anybody um, so when I fire it up which it is it's actually on now so I can control the internal lighting but that also triggers a sound effect as well it's no big deal and there's various other settings as well so just a tip there if anyone's got one of these the digital versions yeah just another tip with the jumpers out you can't program the locomotive if you try programming it this is what happens loco program loco number it's going to try and read the decoder now error you cannot program it with the jumpers out um, you've got to put the jumpers back in to reprogram it it's just the locomotive on its own with the jumpers out will not work no sounds nothing it just comes up with an error so you've got to be careful uh, it's quite surprising that it sort of caught me out um, and obviously put the jumpers back in to reprogram it to whatever you want take the jumpers out if you want it in push pull mode bit of a bizarre system but that's how it is yeah just a quick mention on the digital couplings you've got four male pins which have got guide slots on either side and you've got four female uh, slots with the guide rail receivers uh, they're quite easy to line up but you've got to make sure you do not flex them when connecting up you can bend them and you don't want to break them because they're quite expensive and a bit awkward to get hold of although they are replaceable uh, but the best way I've found is to use a, a re-railer this is a Fleischmann re-railer if you line that just underneath the track at uh, one, one angle or the opposite angle to the coach you can push those two couplings together and they won't flex and they join up quite nicely so you just get them into the mating, mating position line, until they're lined up and then just a careful push until they're fully mated together otherwise there's a risk of damaging them, you've got to be careful there yeah so the four coach pack uh, has a sleeve which comes out which fits really tightly around these plastic boxes uh, well there's actually a plastic case here and then the bo plastic boxes slide out the case which is all extremely tightly fitting so you've got to be careful not to rip the box taking it yeah so I've got them out the really long wheelbase coaches the full scale length 187 scale coaches so what I'm going to do is put everything back like this take everything out of the box and put that into storage and don't put the coaches back into it again to try and keep the box as uh, pristine as possible because this set will be worth money in the future uh, probably go up in value uh, in the future because it will be a limited edition set so everything to be kept as nice as possible yeah so the really high quality Fleischmann type plastic cases which are really well made pretty impressed with these try and get one out of the box Yeah, this is an important tip for anyone who's got an ECOS. <clears throat> um, basically, if you've got any problems with the internal lighting on the coaches, which I had, they won't work correctly. You get dim dimming down and not working correctly on the ECOS. On the Fleischmann system, fine, but on this one, no. Would not work correctly. So, to solve it, you go into the spanner menu there. Go into track menu which is on setup number one 
what you've got to do, you put your control car uh, anywhere on your layout or programming track and then tick and untick create a sesimetric track signal box uh, whichever way you've got that set you click and click it again and that uh, reinstates uh, the decoder chip on the control car and then it enables all the lighting to work correctly on the coaches which is good